One of the biggest aspects of the work put into Julia's recipes is actually the relatively complex content management system for the back end of the site. On the old Juliet recipes, two Python scripts were used to parse a set of DXT files into pre-formatted HTML, and then enter into a database basic information of whether a recipe contained an ingredient or not. We wanted to only store actual content in the database, and then build recipes on the fly. Juliet had a very specific idea of how a recipe form should look and work. She even provided a sample form, which served as the basic prototype. I decided to store the recipe and the ingredients in two separate tables into the database, using a foreign key to link an ingredient row with a specific recipe, which makes the application very scalable. Because of the way Juliet formats her recipes, some recipes might contain ingredient categories. These categories are actually stored in a third table, which is again foreign key linked to each ingredient. I am using jQuery-based JavaScript for the functionality to add ingredients to the form on the fly. The challenge here was to get the tab order and the names of each of the input elements correct, so that when we post the data, the proper entry into the database can be made. If you are interested in this JavaScript, I will have some of it available on my GitHub. Another challenge on entry is how to handle duplicates. The name of a recipe must be unique, and for that I query and check the database for the same name, and if one is found, inform the user, and let her make the appropriate steps, either revising or overriding an existing recipe. The form also provides the option to upload pictures. Juliet can also edit each recipe after it has been added. She can make just about any change to the recipe, as well as add new pictures, removing existing pictures, and then save the recipe afterwards. Finally, let's say Juliet took a great new picture for a recipe, and she wants it to be featured on the home page. Checking this button will automatically cause the picture associated with the recipe to be displayed on the main page. Finally, the backend is styled throughout using Bootstrap, using my own custom Bootstrap theme.